Hey guys, welcome to my channel Unusual Creates. Today I am going to make this coffee girl wood art using the pyrography or wood burning technique with my same good old soldering iron. This is my second project of wood burning. Before this I have tried wood burning on a chopping board and I loved doing it. So I thought why not expand my horizon and try some shading and create something more. If you haven't watched that video then please do watch it. So now without further ado, let's start creating. I have already sanded off my board using a sandpaper in the number 120. Make sure you do this step as it makes wood burning much easier and quicker. After this I drew an image like this on the board. I got this image from Pinterest. Next I started the wood burning process and I just followed the lines. Make sure that you are careful while using the rod and always remember to keep the rod on its stand when not in use. Try not to press the rod too hard or it will leave tiny burnt holes in the wood which we definitely do not want. Make sure that the rod is really hot or you will have a hard time working with it. Also wood burning is a slow process so please be patient. Once you have drawn on the lines, next comes the shading part. I kept running the rod on the surface ever so slightly such that it leaves a light trail mark behind. Again it's a better idea to get your rod really hot to do this step. The first layer of shading would be very light so don't worry and continue with it. Next I wanted a pop of color to this board so I painted the lips and the earrings with the red acrylic color. After this I continued the above steps of wood burning again for like 3 to 4 times till I was satisfied with the intensity of the color. This is how my board looked like after burning it 3 to 4 times. Once the wood is burnt I stuck some roasted coffee beans with a glue gun in place of the hair. I did try to arrange this in a sequential manner initially but it was not looking natural. So I took it off and redid the sticking part again and just followed my heart. I stuck the beans in the way I thought would look good and natural. Just make sure that you are arranging the beans as close as possible trying to leave minimum gap between them. In case you do see some tiny gaps you can always use some dark brown paint and cover them. Once I finished sticking the beans on the board, I used a protective layer of shellac. This will also give some gloss to the wood. 
I applied two layers of shellac. Before using shellac, I did dilute the liquid with some spoons of denatured alcohol. This is a great art piece which you can keep in your kitchen or in your dining area. Or you can also gift it to your friends and family, especially to someone who really loves coffee. There are two things that you guys can do, which ideally I should have done too but I realized it very late. Firstly, color the hair part dark brown before you stick the beans. That way you do not have to struggle with painting in between the beans. And secondly, you should apply shellac or any protective layer right after you have finished the wood burning and painting the brown background for hair. This will give a more even coating of shellac around the hair edges. Let me know what you guys think of my second attempt of wood burning using a soldering iron. If you liked it, then don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to comment, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you have already subscribed, then please hit that bell icon next to the subscribe button and click on your notifications so that you do not miss out on my future videos. That's it from me. I will talk to you guys soon with my next DIY artwork. Till then, take care and stay safe.